Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, this is going to be how I store my planner stickers. Um, this is real life. It is Sunday morning and I am still in my pajamas and Cooper's hanging out with me and Mochi is running the house, enjoying the fact that I have the windows open. Mochi, should we open this window for you? There we go, he'll hop up, oh, there we go. So, um, it's gonna be super informal. I'm gonna clear off my desk. I've been working on swatching my fountain pen inks, and um, but I've got you in a little handheld uh, selfie stick tripod thing first, um, because this is what it is like. I've got some projects here. Um, that's kind of part of my fountain pen. And I, Cooper is a garbage digger, and so I decided to hang a bag with some tape, and that's how I've been keeping my garbage, which has really worked out really well. So I'm going to clear that off, but this is my planner cart. This is what it traditionally looks like most of the time. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Um, this here is my um, Sweet Quiet Designs for my Hobonichi Weeks. So anything that's current... Or that I've used and I'm going to share with my friend Harper I put here and um, here or sometimes in that basket but um, I have a sticker book for my Hobonichi weeks Now we're not going to go through everything but I just kind of wanted to show you some general and I have a really cool um, idea that I just started which is what prompted this video so I've got some sticker books, some like folders here. And then I got these from the dollar store. And I keep my date dots, my month stickers, and then I keep, and then these are like vinyls. These are like vinyls and happy planner stickers and my stencils. But back here is, Back here is my reusable sticker book, which we'll talk about. I'll put that on the desk here. And then here is my Erin Condren vertical. And then we're going to talk about this here once we go tabletop. Then I also have at the very bottom, this has been working fabulous for me. My friend Heather showed this on her planner room tour a long time ago, and I got it from Hobby Lobby. I don't even know if they're still available, but it's the best thing ever. Um, so this is where I'll show this too, because I have a lot of new subscribers and, um, I bet you this might work for people that worked for me for a long time. So, um, this is my sticker excess drawer. And I have reusable sticker books in there. People have been nice and uh, somebody sent me one. And then um, things that are empty that I'm not currently using that I'm not ready to get rid of. And also um, excess sheets. So in my reusable sticker book, I might put in the top row and then I put this here. And I just keep it pretty unorganized because when I go to refill my reusable sticker book, I just pull everything out of that drawer and fill this and then I'm a go. So it's, and I don't, I fill this about once a month. So this has been working really well. So, all right, let me take you out of the little holder and I'm going to clear this off really quick and we're going to go over this and that's it. It's really simple, you guys, and I hope that you get some inspiration. Oh, I forgot to show you this. So here, let's put you on the chair. Here is how I just keep my kits and um, things, and I don't keep it very organized, you guys. My samplers from Sweet Quiet Designs. Um, this has to go in the planner graveyard, but then I have, um, this is a sticker book from uh, Simply Gilded that I keep my Winnie the Pooh, the, the sticker kits that I'm not gonna ever use, that I'm just hoarding. Um, we can go over that. I'll put that there. But these are kind of my sticker kits in waiting. Let's call it that. <laughs> All right. So I just have this little, I think I got it at Walmart. It's the perfect size and I love it. And it just lives on this little shelf right here. All right. Okay. So let's, let's go over this 
with the cam uh, with um, my phone in this. Okay, so let's start with my reusable sticker book. I did do a video on this, and this. Man, this has been working so well for a very long time. This hard cover is from cloth and paper, and the metal discs are from, are they from Staples or uh, Michaels? I can't remember, but honestly, it really doesn't matter, meaning you just use whatever size discs you want. But the hard cover from cloth and paper is fabulous. I made this, let me move these out of the way. I made this with just stuff I already had and um, it's just been working fabulous. So I just took some cardstock, I put a sticky pocket here, um, and then I just added different sheets that I don't wanna forget to use. And then the dividers are um, also from cloth and paper. And this is, where's my ruler? It's seven, seven by four and three fourths. So like almost like a B6 size. Um, so what I did was I just used my label maker and I just labeled it on the front. And then I also label it on the back so that if I flip to this page, I can see where I'm going so that I have double sided tabs. And then I just have work and also label makers in my Amazon uh, storefront and so is this uh, release paper, so like reusable uh, sticker paper. And I just took, as I emptied out the some of my reusable sticker books that I'll show you here in a minute, I just would take the pages also and cut them to size and then punch, and then punch it with the Happy Planner Punch. So these, um, these sections, I pretty much know like the back of my hand now. And I, it's it's just made my memory planning in my Erin Condren vertical, which is where I mostly use these uh, character stickers and stuff like that. Um, it's just made it so much more enjoyable because I don't have to hunt very much. And um, so I have scripts. And I really wanted to get to the point where I just use this one side because I find that it's easier, but I haven't really done that. I, I set it up and I've just been using it nonstop. And, um, and then I needed to, and so I haven't really revisited reorganizing it because um, I've been doing other things. So um, I've got some deco. All right, so I needed two extra uh, sections and I just created them myself. I have a tab punch and I just cut cardstock and laminated it. So these are more seasonal, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and then this is more annual. I mean, who doesn't have annual stickers and then you forget to use them and you're like, oh. So, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's been really nice. And I don't know why I put these back here, but I did. And then what I do here is, this is the um this is what i bought to use with this i think what i w initially was going to do was use this as a purse job a purse log or would take a picture of the handbag write what i paid for it where i got it and the date i acquired it and that never took off you know I, who doesn't always come up with something in their head and then they buy all the stuff and then it never works so what i decided to do was not waste this and when I feel like I'm running low on a particular sticker, I just write it here. And that way, when I go in to restock it, um, the list is right here. So I just have a couple of those. And then I usually have some um, reusable sticker paper already pre-cut in case I run out of room. And that's kind of on my to-do list. I need to do that. So, um, and then this is the back and then the back cover. So that's my reusable sticker book. And I just go to the drawer or, and let me show you this next or this, and I just restock it from those different areas. So this is a, um, so this is, and you know, you guys listen, you don't have to have this. You could even have rings. You could have, um, I've tried it in pocket rings in the past. Um, I think the key is that um, you just have to have good reusable sticker paper and you can do it any size you want, uh, any way you want. So if you even have A5 rings, um, you can do that. So this is just something I had that I wanted 
that was just super convenient at the time for me to repurpose and um it's working great but like i could totally do that in a personal rings a6 rings any kind of rings all right these reusable sticker books come in a pack of two for like nine dollars so you could buy these and use these or you could um buy them and cut them down so those are just two ideas um so this is an a5 tn um with i have to look four four strings and all i did was i untie i un I untied it and restrung it, running the elastic through the spine of this. And I used this for a very, very long time. And um, there's four, four books in here. And so, um, you guys, I have a lot of stickers. But as I transfer these to the reusable sticker book, then I will save the paper and then use that. So... Um, this worked for me for a long time, but this is, I think this is a really, really cool idea. And then you've got, so when I wanted, um, stickers, I just grabbed this. I am not somebody who enjoys planning. If I have a thousand different sticker books, um, you know, like what you buy from the shops uh, and you slip them in and then you have to slip them out. This is, like something like this. Now this I use for my Simply Gilded samplers and my metal washi cards. And I really, really am enjoying this because I have it all in one spot. But I don't personally enjoy pulling the sticker sheet out using one sticker and sliding it back in. Because when I tried that, it never worked. <laughs> I always was in a mess and I never put things back, which is really strange because in my life, I am 100% that person that's like, put that back, like right now when you're done using it, because then you'll know where it, where it is the next time. But for sticker sheets, for some reason, that did not connect with me. So this is a great way to take um, a leather traveler's notebook with four strands and you just, you just untie it and then loop the elastic through, through the spirals and um, yeah. I love this a lot. And of course, who doesn't miss Foxy Fix? I miss them so much. All right, so another great way to keep your kits is, um, or your big sticker sheets is Simply Gilded. She carry, I have a referral code below. She she has a couple of different sizes. Um, this, this size, which is the like full sticker uh, sheet. And then she has like a smaller size that takes a quarter sheet. I like her sticker books because there's also a sleeve here. So if you get an order and you just don't have time, but you know it's going to go in here, you can just slot it in here and then you know it's all in one spot. Now these are sticker sheets that I, I am absolutely, do we have, let's, let's turn that away and then we'll get rid of the glare. Um, these are sticker sheets that um, I'm hoarding that I will never use. I'm very into Winnie the Pooh, so anything Winnie the Pooh will be in here. Um, or like Disney. I love this. I just got these two from XO Mama Plans from the Ultimate Planner Sale. And um, then I have uh, Scribble Prints Co. This is an old one from Pookie Bear Cuties. This was a gift from Rachel from Oodle madoodles.com and then um this is from nicole alexia designs and then i also um hoard a lot of the pookie bear cuties kits i actually need to get the rest of them and uh put them in here but this is kind of this is my special um, my special holder for things that I treasure that is more of a collection. All right, so I'm super excited to show you guys this. This is the last one. I stole the cover from my budget planner because I love this so much. This is from Erin Condren. Now, um, I actually, if I I had a couple of planners that were like half full that I just ripped apart and I saved the coil and I kept asking Elvira, why am I saving these coils? And this is so funny because she's like, I don't know, you know, save them. I'm like, all right. And I have two. So I got the silver one because Mochi got 
a hold of the other one <laughs> and he likes coils and so he must be chasing it in the in the basement but this is a coil that I just saved from an old Erin Condren. And then this cover I just took from my budget planner. And these are the new dashboard sleeves, which I will tear out here to show you guys. They just launched these, and I have a link below if you've not ordered from them. And um, to save yourself, I think you save $10, which is a pretty big deal. Um, on each side, there's a pocket, you guys. I love these so much. So these are tabs. I only ordered, they come in packs of three. I only ordered six of them. I absolutely, if this, if this sticks, I might order two more packs when I order my planner. And you just, um, and there's a tab so I can um, use my label maker. But what I'm doing is, is I'm keeping each month, and I didn't put these in order, I don't think. I'm keeping my um, sticker kits for the month. So I think this is May, hang on. Yeah, I, I think this is May. So I don't know about you, but have you ever ordered too many Christmas kits or too many spring kits? And now you're like, oh man, I have way too many and I have to remind myself not to order next year and then you forget and you keep ordering. This is absolutely gonna help me adjust my spending and I just put, I just went through my little white basket and I just said, okay, these are what I wanna use for, I think this is May and this is what I wanna use for the month of May. I love this kit so much. And so now I just slide it in here. And once I get this organized and I have some time, I want to swatch my inks today. But once I get organized, I will lay, label, I, I will label this May and then I'm good to go every year for the month of May. And I think these are genius, absolutely genius. Now, I did try to put it in my Erin Condren and it bulked it up so bad that... Um, the whole thing was like this thick and I could barely even um, plan in it. So I came up with this idea of just taking an old coil and adding um, these and just having this be my sticker kit storage divided by months. And um, I'm really excited about this because I do have a lot of sticker kits and you just put it in so you can move them around at, at your will. And I have, I absolutely have a lot of sticker kits, vertical sticker kits. You could do this with anything. Maybe this is the way you wanna store your functional bundle. Let me show you how. So again, cool, love it. And you could have 12 of these and just have every, um, have it labeled up here every month. So I really, personally, you guys, I think this is really going to help me because when I shop for stickers or sticker kits, I'm like, I have no sticker kits. And then the next thing you know, I order four or five and I take it to the basket and I'm like, wow, yeah, you had sticker kits, Robin. So I really think this is going to help me a lot to stay organized and also uh, keep me um, grounded on how many sticker kits. Now listen, I... <laughs> You guys, I am not the um, moral compass for not buying stickers or sticker kits. We all know that, okay? That is not what I'm trying to say. But I think this will help me to know how many I have for each month and then pick my most favorites. And then um, it'll, it'll kind of, I'm kind of stumbling for my words because I think I'm over explaining it and I think you guys get it. It's just going to help me stay grounded, and I'm excited. So I already had the cover. I already had the coil. So if you've got an old Aaron Condren or even a Michaels um, when they used to sell their coiled planners, um, I don't know where they went. They stopped selling those. But, you know, and if you've got that in storage and you're like, you know what, I half filled this out, um, this is a great way to reuse your coils and your covers and pop these in and get yourself a little bit organized. So that is how I store all of my planner stickers and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really on the fly you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. 
<laughs> I'm going to go swatch my inks today and um, get this video up. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Bye.